My name is Vina Chen and welcome to my studio. Today we're going to start the painting at the August. And uh, I'm going to plan with two sessions. First session I'm going to do the, uh, con the construction and the outline. The next section I'm going to do the uh, ink style. And as you know, uh, the August is a herb. Uh, they can grow on the ground, and they also uh, can do the uh, bank of blocks, also can climb up the rock cliff. It's a, it's a spiritual of the spring. Uh, in Chinese culture, for many years, they permitting the history, the literature, uh, art, and they've been uh, celebrated as they are nobility and beautiful, and also they've been appreciated as a symbol of uh, nobility and the friendship and the refinement. And also, uh, they are one of the four gentlemen uh, accompanied with the chrysanthemum and the bamboo and the plum. So, Today I just gonna start with the uh, construct uh, the structure and uh, the outline of the August. Thank you. So today I'm going to show you the uh, general structure and how to draw on the contour style. Uh, first, the general structure. It's like uh, any other plant. Of course, they have the roots and they have everything. All this stem and the flower, they all come from the, the roots. So they have roots underground. The roots same like the other one. Especially, the little difference is they all also have the roots up ground in the air. So that's very special with the, the orchids. See, they, they have roots grow on the air. And uh, they can do the uh, storage, they can absorb the water. Also, they perform the photosynthesis. So that's, that's their function. So that's why those orchids can climb on the rock, they grow on the tree, everything else you can see, right? So that's a special thing. And the, their stem is very short, but they're very sturdy, very strong. So all the leaves is come from the, the leaves are very slender, and uh, they come from the, Stand. And then they shoot. So that's why for you to the August leaves, you should uh, know they come from the They come from the same stem, so you should uh, go, don't let them go too far. See, like this one. Okay. You should uh, just go. You can close each other, it's okay. So that's what they do. Uh, come from the each stand come up, and uh, for the flower, they little different. Then you have so called a spike. And uh, the flower is come the stand of the flower is come from the spike.
So it doesn't. So you can have a bowl. The young one. Same thing. They should have a spike. And then. So that's how the, how the, this is one one flower with one spike. Then you have another species that have a multiple flower uh, come from one spike. So later on, we, uh, we're going to talk about. So that's the general structure of the uh, orchids. Thank you. And now we're going to do the leaves. The leaves, I told you, it's a slender, right? So first, first, usually you decide the first stroke first, so where you want to go, but it's a slender. So we just uh, go the way you like. And uh, the two sides is pointed, but the middle part is a little fat, and the keep to the end is pointed. And also, they have a one center vein. One center vein. Okay. And since they, they're so long, so sometimes they may bend, sometimes they, they may uh, uh, fold. So, and in Chinese, uh, when you paint the orchids, so usually, the second stroke, second leaves, should form a the so-called uh, phoenix eye with the first leaves. So means uh, you have to close each other because they're so long. So sometimes it's really more, more chance they close together, they will close each other. So when you do one, the bank one, so you just go like this, and then you go in here. Then we're going here, here, right? And then and just pulling over. See, this means that you show the sleeves, the leaves is bent. Bang. Then the the third leaves is important. The three leaves are important. The third leaves on the break thing, the phoenix eye. This is the phoenix eye. The third leaves supposed to break the eye. So I think this is the way they arrange the leaves so it looks very pretty. Uh, it's balanced yet it's different. So that's the way the third leaves you going to you can go same direction, you can go different direction. You can go this way. You can go this way. So this is three leaves for Chinese painting the orchids is very important. And the three three leaves uh, do not be the same length, better not be the same length, better not be the same height. So this will make them position all balanced, but they're yet different. And the, the fourth leaf and the fifth leaf, then don't, don't worry about it. So you can just put the fourth leaf and the shorter. That can be the, play the supporting part, okay? So, the shorter. For this, we doing contour style, uh, it's not too bad. But uh, when you do the, later on we do the ink style. That's the leaves is the one that take you a long time to practice. Because you have to exact it with one stroke. So that's maybe, basically you just draw the lines. So that's the contour style with the leaves. You just draw and put the center one on and then make the uh, compositions are okay. Uh, don't 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 put the leaves far apart and uh, make sure they come in the same group, same stem, come from the same stem. So that's uh, about the leaves. Thank you.
Now I'm going to show you uh, the structure of the August flower. It is uh, uh, different than the other, other flower. And uh, they sort of have a big area in the middle. And uh, here's supposed to be the, the regular hot area. And the uh, August leaves, they have uh, all kinds of species, have all kinds of big, small, different, but uh, they have five petals. So actually, the five, five petals, they, they become two layers come up. And the one outside the wheel is uh, Actually, this three, this three piece of pedal, actually they are sables, they're not the pedal. So another two inner, inner, inner pedal, another inner pedal, that's a real pedal. And uh, this one, they have three pedals, three sable, Three petals come the ochre flower. And uh, this petal become like a, serve sort of like a platform for attractive the, the insects. And uh, in here, just a big column with the, the stegman and the pistol. So that's the regular heart. So that's how the ochre uh, uh, flower structure is. So Chinese, uh, the petals, five petals, they're all very slender, they're not uh, big. But uh, I just show, the, show you the, how we do the, the inside the heart, the, the heart area. So we, we draw the inside the heart area, just like this. You can, you, draw, you can draw any way you like. Some people just put a few dots, that's okay. And then half of the, we just draw the petal the same, small, slender way, okay? And then we'll have, they will have a little stem. They'll have the sky. So that's how we draw the, 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 uh, the flower. The flower is supposed to face you. So you see the, the heart was in face you. And then when we do the August flower, Chinese flower is a uh, uh, five petals, because they slender, they like to close into each other. So they like to bend over the little bit and they close in each other and attach to each other. And uh, here, be, here you, you can see should be the heart. And uh, the closing, see? They like the closing. And like a Chinese, we call so called, describe like a Chinese lady, lady finger. The finger like the closing each other, so look, look more graceful. And they're very pretty. So, so they have the stain. And then the sky. Just like all the flowers, okay? Then you can draw the flower. And this is an up way, you can draw down way. You can draw downwards.
into a downward. Then you put the the half. And also you can do the different side. Okay, you do the turn the left. And the hairs, but you always draw the heart first, so you can, because they may don't see the petal goes in all over. Okay. Then, also you can do the other side over the right. So you learn how to do the different side, different shade, this way we can draw the any kind of title you like to do. Also, don't forget the heart, right? So this is this way you can do different shape, and also we, if you do the bow, so the bow which is uh, going line like this, and. Uh, do this right, so that's the bolt. And then you want to the open up, just start opening up. This way just like it, start opening up, right? Okay. This right. Okay, so this is do the bow and face you and and the front, dark, and side, and the dark, okay. And then you face each way and the bow and the, uh, start the boning up. So that's about the few style you can practice. Thank you. And now, now I'm going to show you the uh, orchids uh, with uh, one stem with many flowers. So the one stem with many flowers, the flower blooming from bottom to top. So the 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 the, the top one should be the bulb. The bottom, the top one go to the bulb. So you do the bulb first. You see, just right. Then you do another bow. Right. Then you collect them together. Another flower. I do I want like it just start blooming. Same thing, they have the stain and this little spike. Another, another one on the left side. I 
closing over. And here's the heart. Using me the spike. Okay. And we do one on the right side. Close them all together. And do the hot. So in the Chinese painting cast, uh, uh, habit is they draw the flower with the odd number. One, three, five, seven, nine. And uh, maybe when they actually grow, maybe they they are at the number two. So you, you just figure out that you are seven or five, then you, you can become one uh, one stem of the flowers. So that's the way we draw the, uh, the control style. With ink style, would be much easier. You just draw the stem first, then you put the flower up. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, now I'm going to the, uh, put them all together, so do 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 a uh, orchid painting. So first, uh, usually you do the leaf first, okay? Like I said before, we we get to the uh, first leaf get out. The first one get out. Do the first leaf first. the center ring and the second second one I want to bend it either back And the third one, you want to break the eye, right? Form the eye, then the third one is breaking the eye. And the fifth, the fourth one, the fifth one, uh, you can uh, draw any way you like, you know. Draw the little small one. But this all supposed to come from the same stem. That's why don't let them go too far. Yeah, just close by. They all come come from the same same stem. Then you have an, supposed to have another stem. Then you have another group, another people, and nothing's going on. So I just. Uh, to a simple example. Then you add the flower. So you find a space suitable for you, so you add the add the flower. Sometimes it can be behind the leaves, that's okay. So I add the flower. So 
more like this one. See, I have to just go behind the leaves. Don't worry about it. Then the stem and the spike. And you have to do the heart. So now you do, you can do another one. Suppose I do another one over here. You can have a bulb, or you can have a, have a, you can just have a bulb, simple. So have a bulb, means start coming up. But they still have to do a spike. One flower, one bulb. And uh, since last time, I teach the uh, the rock. So I'm going just to do a little rock, rock over it uh, because they always grow on the on the ground. So you always uh, can come support with some kind of other uh, small things. So I put a rock over here. Now we're going to uh, put a little uh, dots, a little glass. I told them that the rock needs a closing. Put a little closing down, up. So a little grass on it. And we wash a little bit. So that's just to review, review all the, the rock technique. Then we just wash. It's a very light ink. Then also you can put a little bit of other grass on the side. Just fill, fill up the picture more interesting. Okay. So that's just a, uh, can be a simple uh, composition about the doing the uh, orchids in the Jordan 9 star. Thank you. Today we did the uh, structure and the outline of the orchids. And the next session, I'm going to start today, do the ink start. And also, we're going to paint a little bit with the color too. So thank you very much. And see you next time. And make sure and check the uh, material list. And then maybe some painting follow it. Thank you.